and hey well this is francisco from one to share dr phone and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to get rid of mdm from your iphone and ipad and i've actually got three methods of making this happen so let's go ahead and dive right into these and help you get rid of the mdm so let's dive in And make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to comment any of your questions down below as we move forward with this tutorial. Also don't forget to share this video with others if you find it useful and subscribe for more content just like this moving forward. Now let's get right into it. And so you might be asking yourself, why should you get rid of your MDM profile? Well, Apple strongly actually encourages the use of the functionality because it helps companies and government agencies coordinate their activities a little bit more easily. And they can push apps and security features through it. And it can stop you from using a camera, app for instance, AirDrop, App Store, etc. Most companies implement it on their staffers or employees, smartphones in order to protect their, and by their I mean the company's, data. And don't get it twisted, the feature actually makes your device a lot easier to use and it ensures that your employer keeps tabs on your productivity as well. And nonetheless, many people wish to learn how to remove the MDM or mobile device management from their iPhone because they feel that they could be tracked at any moment by somebody. And they feel that somebody is invading their privacy and is monitoring them. And this is one of the several reasons iDevice users wish to go ahead and take off the protocol from their smartphones. And in the same vein, if your former company had to track your activities in order to ramp up your staff productivity, then you had to do away with it since you are no longer with the firm. So method number one, jailbreaking is undoubtedly an effective way of deleting the MDM profile from your device, but jailbreaking has numerous disadvantages and it is not an advisable iOS MDM solution. It can genuinely severely increase the vulnerability of your device, exposing it to security threats and viruses and malware alike. So jailbreaking will also result in violating warranty service and losing customer care if you ended up purchasing any kind of warranty alongside your iPhone as well. So a jailbreak might seem appealing at first, but it has a high chance of breaking your iPhone as well during the process. That means that the software malfunctions on your device and will only be recovered by a complete hardware renewal. Hence, jailbreaking is not really the best method to remove the iOS management profile. So the question arises, what is the best way to remove MDM profile from your iOS device? And the answer to that is going to be very simple and that is going to be through Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for iOS. So Dr. Phone is a wonderful program that is designed specifically specifically to fix the various problems that might arise on your device with much feasibility. Now, the simple tool contains now, the solution to almost all of your phone related problems, including the iOS MDM solution. And a lot of the benefits of using Dr. Phone is going to be that using Dr. Phone will not result in any kind of data loss from your device, so it is pretty safe to use this tool. And although it is a premium tool, the program has a free version that allows users to have access to various features of this tool without spending a dime if they simply can't or don't want to. And the program has a very interactive interface and is extremely easy to use even for people who are not very tech savvy. Dr. Phone uh, contains data encryption a feature as well and it's got an advanced fraud protection as well. Meaning that your device is not going to be exposed to any kinds of threats and security risks respecting the privacy of the user. To remove the MDM profile from iPhone or iPad without jailbreaking or anything like that using Dr. Phone first, go ahead and download and install the program on your device and links to that are going to be down below too and then follow the steps that are going to be coming up right now. And once you launch Dr. Phone on your device, go ahead and connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer using a lightning cable. And then on the main interface, go ahead and click on screen unlock. And now from the various options available on the screen, go ahead and click on remove MDM from iPhone. And then you will see two options, either to bypass or remove the MDM from your device. So go ahead and choose the remove MDM one. On the next screen, go ahead and click on the start to remove button in order to initiate the process. And the program will start verifying your device from here. I have to find my iPhone feature 
is enabled on your device, well, Dr. Phone will spot it and you will be asked uh, to disable it manually. So go ahead and do that. And your device is going to reboot after a little bit of time and there will be no removal of data from your device. Plus the MDM profile will be deleted successfully from there. So now on to method number two. So far, you have seen how to remove a device's management from iPhone because you have the password. So getting rid of MDM on an iPhone with the password in this case. For this method, this would be for how to remove the MDM from your phone by using uh, the password to your MDM profile. So on your iPhone, I just go ahead and tap on settings and then tap on general and then just keep going down until you see a device management. And here you're going to see the MDM profile and then go ahead and tap on it. And then when prompted, I just go ahead and enter the correct credentials and you should be able to get rid of it pretty easily from there. So that is essentially how you would go about method number two. And the truth is, you cannot have the password unless you get it from the admin of your company. So for method number three, just like many companies, schools are actually increasingly installing the same feature on students' devices. And in schools, it is commonly known as Apple School Manager. Now with the program, school admins, they can buy content to configure automatic device enrollment and create students' and teachers' accounts as well. Now you have bought an MDM enabled iPad or someone just gifted it to you. And now you're looking for how to delete the device management on the school's iPad. And well, look no further. All that you need to do is just follow the steps coming right up in order to go ahead and delete that very quickly and very simply. So just go ahead and download and install the toolkit on your PC and then go to screen unlock and then go ahead and tap on the unlock NDM iPad option and then click on the remove NDM as to initiate the removal process. And at this moment, go ahead and tap on start to remove. And then afterwards, you're going to wait for just a little while in order to allow the app to verify this process. I should go ahead and turn off how to find my iPhone feature as well. And already you're pretty much good to go. And the toolkit is just going to let you know right off the bat when it's done uh, by saying successfully removed. And then you're pretty much good to go from there and you can relax. And that's it. Well, those have been three methods of removing the MDM from your iPhone or iPad. And then go ahead and leave a like on this video if you liked it. And do make sure to comment any of your questions down below if you have any. Also, don't forget to share this video with others if you found it useful. And most importantly, do make sure to subscribe for more content just like this. So until next time, enjoy.